हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवंस फ्रॉम डीजी इंटीग्रिटी वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 139 फ्लिपकार्ट बिग सेविंग डे सेल इज स्केड्यूल्ड टू स्टार्ट ऑन जुलाई 25th एंड रन टिल जुलाई 29 द सेल विल स्टार्ट अर्ली ऑन जुलाई 24th एट 12 एएम मिडनाइट फॉर फ्लिपकार्ट प्लस यूजर्स द सेल विल ब्रिंग डिस्काउंट्स ऑन स्मार्टफोन्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टीवी एंड अप्लायंसेस फैशन फर्नीचर एंड मेनी मोर Jeff Bezos suddenly smashed the Kerman line the internationally recognized edge of space 62 miles above the sea level at approximately 9:04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this morning awarding him the permanent honorific astronaut as a blue origin has made sure to clarify end of time Jeff Bezos is now a no asterisk astronaut the blue origins rocket the new shepard take off from west texas the capsule landed in west texas 10 minutes and 18 seconds after its lift off YouTube has acquired Indian company SimSim the video giant announced through a blog post SimSim is a short video shopping platform in India that enables e-commerce through videos with this acquisition YouTube says it aims to help small businesses and retailers in India to reach new customers the SimSim app will continue operating independently while YouTube looks to work on ways to showcase SimSim offers to its viewers Android users will soon receive the benefit of signing in with the Google account when accessing the app via an Android device. As per the reports, the Twitter beta built for Android now allows you to sign in to a Twitter account using Google Sign In feature. If you don't have a Twitter account already, you can use the Google Sign In option to create a new account. TikTok parent company ByteDance has just applied for a new trademark in India. It has trademarked the face TikTok suggesting that TikTok could be coming back to India under that name. The application is still under review so it will be a while before we find out more about ByteDance plans for India. And after the needle pressure was withdrawn while the self healing materials have been in existence for a while now in various forms but these are usually soft and amorphous in simple terms these usually have an internal structure marked by irregularities and defects and needed external agents like heat light or other chemical products to heal chilla malla reddy a chemical sciences professor at the iss An official leak from Asus India mentioned that Asus Zenfone 8 and Zenfone 8 Flip will launch in India very soon and the company is now working on logistics to make the two available in enough quantities before launch and both of these two phones will launch in India in early August and if we talk about the basic specifications Asus Zenfone 8 comes with a 5.9 inch 120 hertz AMOLED display if we talk about Zenfone 8 Flip it comes with a 6.67 inch 90 hertz AMOLED display and both the smartphones will run on Snapdragon 888 Pro and it also have a dual camera for Zenfone 8 up to 64 megapixel and also Zenfone 8 Flip will come with a 64 megapixel triple rear camera if we talk about battery Zenfone 8 will come with a 4000 mAh battery with 30 watt fast charging while Zenfone 8 Flip will come with a 5000 mAh battery with 30 watt fast charging Apple Music lossless audio is rolling out in India. Apple also brings special audio to the country. Users don't need to pay extra for this features. Dizo GoBots D and Dizo Wireless can be pre-ordered for rupees 1 on Flipkart between July 21st and July 23rd. Both earphones go on sale during Flipkart's big savings day between July 25th and July 29th. The Dizo GoBots D will be available for a promotional price of rupees 1399 while the Dizo Wireless will be sell for rupees 1299 Indian rupees. Fujitsu is making its debut in the Indian consumer PC markets by unveiling its UHX and UHX convertible laptops in India. The Fujitsu UHX features some innovative design and functionality that the Japanese manufacturer hopes will excite the Indian consumers. The two models have already been available from Amazon India starting from rupees 80990 and 86990 Indian rupees. IQ will be introducing a new color variant of the IQ7 in India called as Monster Orange. IQ7 Monster Orange will be launched in India during the Amazon Prime Day sale. It will be available in 8GB, 128GB storage variant and 12GB and 256GB storage variant. A Weibo post by the brand suggests IQ8 launch date is on August 4th. IQ8 is expected to be the first smartphone with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Plus processor. The key specifications according to the leaks include a QHD Plus display, 12GB RAM and a 256GB storage and it runs on Android 11 OS. 
Micromax is readying up for the launch of the new smartphone in India. The company has recently released a teaser on Twitter which reveals that the smartphone maker will launch a new device in India on July 30th. If we go by the teaser released by the Micromax, its upcoming smartphone will offer a long battery life, smooth performance and the device will be aimed at gig workers. The teaser released by Micromax does not explicitly reveal the name of the handset. However, we can expect the company to release a Micromax in 2B smartphone in India on July 30th. Oppo, OnePlus and Realme brands have captured a 16% global market share in May 2021 to emerge as the second largest smartphone brand. Apple was in the second spot earlier this year has been pushed to third place in May with a 15% share. Xiaomi came in at fourth place with a 14% of market share. Oppo last year launched its first smartwatch called the Oppo Watch. The company has now confirmed the launch of its successor in China. The Oppo Watch 2 debuts in China on July 27th. Redmi Book India launch has been officially teased by the brand. The laptop is expected to launch sometime before the end of this year. Redmi Book will look to take on the upcoming Realme Book laptop in India. Call of Duty Mobile Season 6 is right around the corner and players cannot wait to see what activism has in store for the players. From new weapons to new equipment and modes, players have their expectations set high. As the test builds went live, Call of Duty Mobile received a large number of applications from both Android and iOS, and many got their first look at future content. Apex Legends Season 10 now finally has a name called as Emergence, and it is set to release on August 3rd. This season is being dubbed the most dangerous game set, and it will be the interesting to see what Respawn has in store for the players. Xiaomi Mi CC11 has been spotted on the Tina certification platform. It is expected to arrive alongside the Mi CC11 Pro. According to the leaks, the key specifications include a 90Hz OLED display, Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 or 780G processor, and a 64MP triple rear camera. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe. And follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.